I'm trying my hardest to contain myself right now to um you know, I've been seeing this story from from yesterday from the the video released and you know you guys have heard my stance on this channel on you know racism you know because I'm a I'm a firm believer in the fact that they are racist out there not everybody is racist right we can't define an entire race by something that a specific person of that race does you know and this situation didn't it didn't change my mind it didn't change my stance you know but in particular to police officers doing this stuff to you know black men and these videos that come out and you see these things and then they get away with these things I mean I judge the individual based on the individual's actions right but in so much circumstances that this has happened you don't have the other police officers step up they're not outraged You know, I understand that it's a brotherhood. They want to protect each other because they feel like it's us versus them. You know, that's how they feel. That's in no way, shape or form. That's the way they're supposed to think. But it, unfortunately, that's how they think. You're there to protect and serve the community, the state, whatever, your jurisdiction. That's what you're there for. That's why you chose the job. Nobody forced you to become a police officer. And this, it's killing me because... In any situation that could have been me you know it could have been me because I share that complexion now I'm not here to say that as I, as I stated earlier that you know I'm going to go out in a limb and be like, all oh, police officers are racist and because not all police officers are, are white. Let's just be honest. It's, it, not all police officers are white. Not all of them have this bad intentions. I mean, at this point... It is as if they're, they're just bad at their jobs. I mean, I don't want to play the video. I don't want to post the video. But if you want to see the video, it's all over the Internet, man. The George Floyd death. I mean, that was just straight up murder. 
there's no other way to put it. Is 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 just murder. There's no other way to put it. You know. Why, what? Why that has to be a way to pin down a person? I mean, your knee on the side of someone's neck. I mean, are you serious? How? We are people. We are people too. You're not, I mean, you're not doing this to animals. Why are you doing this to human beings? I, I, I just don't understand. And it's an older guy too. It's an older guy. I'm pretty sure that guy is not a rookie. He's not a rookie. I'm trying really hard to not go off on a tangent here and be angry, you know, because I'm outraged. I'm containing myself because I, I've i watched the video. I've seen the riots, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen the outrage by the community and all right to do so. All the protests. All of this stuff, all right to do so, this incident happening in Minnesota. It's ridiculous. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you I can't breathe after I've been subdued way before I was even on the ground? Not putting up a fight. I mean, what am I going to do with 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 my hands are handcuffed behind me? What am I? How am I going to attack you at at this point? I mean, what am I going to do? I'm gonna magically pull out a pistol out of my mouth and shoot you, you dumbass. Why? It's hard, man. It's hard. Let me calm down. People are, are, are just, I mean, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, I've been pulled over before. I've been racially profiled before. I mean, fortunately, I've never been in that situation where, you know, you know, I've, you know, when I'm pulled over, I comply. You know, I've never been asked outside of my vehicle before you know so nothing has ever escalated you know I've always kept my, kept my hands on the steering wheel make sure my hands are visible I mean these are things that I don't know if see see I don't know I've asked before and 
I don't know if this is universal when it comes on to to white people and how they operate within when they get pulled over versus how we behave. But the way how we behave, because we don't want to get killed, you know, when I talk to others, you know, people that I rep with were, were white, they'll tell, they, 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 they tell me, they're like, we don't do that. Our, you know, we don't do that. We, we didn't think we had to do that because initially we're not you know initially they're not considered a threat but we are as as unfortunately as black people for some reason we're seen as a threat before we become one I mean, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I hope you guys feel the same way I do. I don't expect I don't expect you guys to to if 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 you feel if you live in um, Minnesota and you know we've seen the riots and stuff like that. Don't give them ammunition. To kill y'all. That's all I can say, man. Don't give them more ammunition to kill y'all. We we can't right a wrong with more wrong. Can't right a wrong with more wrong. Destroy. You guys know that destroying government property is is a crime. Stop doing that. You know. We gotta do things the right way. So that they don't have nothing to say. They don't have nothing to. Um, I get it. We're emotional right now. We're angry. But we can't. That is not the way to go. And I, I understand the outrage. I do. I mean, it looked like straight up racism. Like, it looked like this guy just hates black people. Or he just hates criminal. We don't know. He's not going to say it. But we don't know. But I mean, seven minutes with your knee on somebody's throat. Do you know that you can make somebody unconscious? Does some, the, it, it is, your neck is pressed against the ground and somebody is sitting, literally sitting on the back of your neck. How do you expect that person to breathe? Especially when the person is telling you, I can't breathe plenty of times. You are going to kill me. I had to make a video about it because it was it was bothering me a lot. It was bothering me a lot. It's one of the reasons why yesterday I did not put out any more videos after I finished watching The Walking Dead yesterday. Because I know I, I told you guys that I was, but I didn't say anything. I didn't put out a community post, nothing. Because I was so distraught. I was so angry yesterday. And today when I got up, I'm like. I got to get this off my chest before I even start doing any reactions for today so that I can, you know, just release the situation, you know, I mean, this is just wrong on so many levels, man. So wrong on so many levels, so wrong on so many levels. You know, so I just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video, man. I know it's not the most enjoyable video. 
or anything like that, you know. It's just crazy to me, man. You know, um, let me know you guys' thoughts on this situation. If you don't know about it, look it up. Look it up. Okay? There's a situation that's going on currently that is new, you know. I mean, I, I, you, you know what the funny, the, the funny thing, too? The footage that was released was from somebody recording it. Even the person that was recording the thing was like, yo, check on the dude. He's unconscious. What's wrong with you? Check his pulse. Check his pulse. <sighs> Guys, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here.